For this tutorial, we're going to take a closer look at the search results for Chemistry 1300. Our search results will show each section of the course that's available in the selected term. Let's look at what everything means. The Select column is used to register for courses, and is only visible when searching using lookup classes. Here you may see a checkbox, or one of the following codes, C, N, R, S, R. These codes are explained further in Tutorial 3.2, registering for classes using Aurora. CRN refers to the five-digit course reference number. This is important for registration. Each course will have a subject code. In our example, CHEM is the code for chemistry, and 1300 is the four-digit course number. A course that has multiple sections available will have a different section number for each. Each section number is preceded by a letter. A is for lecture, B is for lab, D is for a distance or online education course. Campus lets you know where the course is being offered. M or Main is used for the Fort Garry and Bannatyne campuses. The credit column indicates how many credit hours the course is worth. The course title for Chemistry 1300 is University One Chemistry, Structure and Modeling in Chemistry. Here we can see on which days of the week the course is offered. M is for Monday, T is for Tuesday, W is for Wednesday, R is for Thursday, F is for Friday, and S is for Saturday. We can also see at what time during the day the course is offered. Capacity is the total number of spaces that are available in the course. Actual tells you how many spaces are already taken. Remaining indicates how many students may still register for the course. Here's where you'll find the instructor's name. TBA means to be announced. These are the start and end dates for the course, and this is where you'll find the room number and the building name. Any special requirement the course fulfills, such as the written English requirement, will be indicated in the attribute column. Pay special attention to the important information below that's listed in bold black text. In our example, students taking Chemistry 1300 must also register for a lab. You'll find separate listings for lab sections further down the page. Remember, a lab section number normally starts with the letter B. Additional class schedule information can be accessed by clicking on the course reference number. From here, as seen at the top of the page, you can click on the course title to view detailed class information, including any registration restrictions that exist on the section. In our example, we can see that in order to take Chemistry 1300, you must be an undergraduate student and you must be enrolled in one of the faculties or schools listed here. Use the Return to Previous button in the bottom left corner to go back to the previous screen. There are also important details to review in the course description. Click on View Catalog Entry to see if there are any requirements that might affect registration. This is the course description. Chemistry 1300 has prerequisites. In order to take this course, you must have taken the appropriate high school or preparatory math and chemistry courses that are listed here. Some course descriptions might also indicate that instructor or advisor approval is required. In such a case, you'll first need to obtain the appropriate permission, and then speak to your advising office to have the permission entered into Aurora. The registration information on the Registrar's Office website includes information about registration permissions. Remember, a number of sections of the same course may be offered and restrictions may vary by section. Be sure to review this information in the class schedule and obtain any necessary permission before your registration date. Now that you know how to look up classes and interpret your search results, you can create your timetable. The University One First Year Center provides timetable building and planning resources and can offer new students help with creating their course schedule. These resources are accessible through the First Year Planning Guide. In the next tutorial, you'll learn how to verify your registration eligibility and find your registration time.